have been telling us who's at higher risk for severe cases of COVID. We know about older people. We know about people with diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity. But now doctors are looking at a potential new risk factor, your hair. Medical reporter Meg Ferris explains. We often think of male pattern hair thinning and baldness as a cosmetic issue, but not to doctors. They know it's an outward sign of your genetics, specifically that your male hormone receptors are more active or sensitive. Usually men with hair loss or balding have normal androgen levels. It's just that genetically their hair follicles are more sensitive to those circulating levels. But now doctors are asking, could this be a clue as to why children before puberty seem to be at low risk for severe COVID-19, while adult men are at higher risk of dying from it than women are? When they looked at a group of uh, 5,700 cases in New York, there were six times more male fatalities than female fatalities. Dermatologist and hair transplant surgeon Dr. Nicole Rogers says in a preliminary observation, Doctors in Spain have uncovered this. While only 30 to 50 percent of men in the general population have male pattern baldness, more than 70 percent of the men with double COVID pneumonia had the same significant hair loss. What that you know, has suggested to these researchers is that androgens or male hormones definitely seem to play some kind of a role here. And in particular, androgen sensitivity. And Dr. Rogers says there are similar patterns found in the genes of men with sensitive male hormone receptors that are also found in African Americans. Doctors ask, could that partially explain why hospitals are seeing this illness take a higher toll on African Americans? So while research continues, Dr. Rogers has this advice. Men in general need to be more careful about doing everything they can to avoid contracting this virus. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch. And Meg points out there are no studies yet, but it does raise the question, could anti-hormone medicines used to treat hair loss, acne and prostate problems be tested to see if they could help fight COVID?